Good evening. You're watching the news on Croatian television. Following yesterday's long delays at border crossings with Slovenia, traffic has returned to normal today. This, however, is due to fewer passengers entering the country. For its part, Slovenia is still conducting systematic controls, which means the processing and scanning of each passenger's passport. The stricter controls are part of an EU directive recently introduced on the external borders of the Schengen area. However, the directive also foresees the use of targeted controls, which are being applied by Croatia and Hungary. Traffic at border crossings with Bosnia and Herzegovina has also returned to normal. The financially troubled Agricor Food Consortium, its suppliers and creditors have in principle agreed on a document by which suppliers and banks will not initiate compulsory debt collection on promissory notes issued by Agricor until at least the end of May. Agricor has called on all interested parties to sign the document by the end of the week. The government-appointed restructuring executive Ante Ramnyak has said that next week he will continue his talks with banks regarding Agricor's continued financing. He added that he is unsure if Agricor's biggest creditor, Russia's Sperbank, will participate in those talks. The leader of the largest opposition party, Davor Bernadic of the SDP, today commented on the unfolding situation in Agrocor, specifically regarding the so-called Lex Agrocor law, which gave government the authority to appoint a restructuring executive for that company. Bernadic accused government of pushing the legislation through in a bid to buy time ahead of the local elections in May. He added that similar laws could be passed in Slovenia and Serbia, where Agrocor has substantial holdings. It's clear that if Slovenia adopts Lex Mercator and Serbia follow suit, and in that way seize Croatian assets, Lex Agricor will be considered high treason. The state prosecutor's office has taken charge of the investigation into yesterday's explosion in Splits Port, which left five people injured. The explosion occurred at around midday on Friday in a grain silo in the port's northern terminal. Two dock workers sustained serious injuries and are being treated in Splits Clinical Hospital. Burns cover a significant portion of their bodies. For now they are in stable condition, but they are on artificial respiration. All possible measures are being undertaken to ensure that their condition does not worsen, but it is difficult to say how they will respond to treatment. The Russian Foreign Ministry has rejected media reports that Moscow had supplied Zagreb with weapons in the early 1990s and thereby breached a UN embargo. The Russian ministry has called the report's provocations and a harsh distortion of the facts in a bid to tarnish Russia's policies in Southeast Europe. Today is Easter Saturday, otherwise known as Holy Saturday, the day on which Christians contemplate Christ's suffering and death prior to his resurrection. Pope Francis is leading an Easter vigil mass at St. Peter's Basilica this evening. Tomorrow on Easter Sunday, the Pope will read his Urbi et Orbi message in St. Peter's Square. In Croatia, Zagreb Archbishop Cardinal Josip Bozanic is currently leading an Easter vigil mass at the Zagreb Cathedral. Earlier today, he issued his Easter greeting in which he called on the faithful to open themselves to the true strength of Easter and Christ's resurrection. Coptic Christians in Egypt held Easter Mass today instead of on Sunday, following last Sunday's terror attacks in two Coptic churches that left 44 people dead. Prior to entering Coptic churches for Mass today, the faithful were subjected to rigorous security checks. Turkish citizens will vote tomorrow at a referendum on changes to the constitution that would transform Turkey from a parliamentary system to a presidential one. A yes vote would give Turkish President Erdogan sweeping new powers. According to the latest polls, the for and against campaigns are running neck and neck. Throughout Turkey's history, there have been a number of economic crises and coup d'etats. All of them were caused by the existing regime. Many developed countries have introduced a presidential system. Look from the 2002 uh, to the 2017, it's, it's just looking like we are not going better about not, not about also economy, about our cultural things. North Korea has warned the United States against taking any provocative action in the region. During Saturday's parade for the Day of the Sun celebrations, top officials said that North Korea is prepared to respond with nuclear attacks. If the United States continues with their provocations, our revolutionary government will immediately fire its destructive missiles. We will respond to threats of war and nuclear conflict with nuclear projectiles. If the United States chooses the military option, we have an ace up our sleeve. We will initiate a preventive strike. That means war. 
And on a lighter note, the city of Osijek has transformed its main square into a giant nest in light of the Easter holiday. The massive nest is made of some two tons of hay. Organizers also held an Easter egg hunt for children. Taking a quick look at sports, Croatia's Borna Cioric is through to the final of the ATP tournament underway in Marrakesh after disposing of Yiri Veseli of the Czech Republic in straight sets in today's semi-final. And now the forecast for tomorrow. Overcast with rain, especially in Dalmatia, which could see heavier downpours and thunderstorms. There will be a mild to moderate northeasterly and northwesterly on the coast, with a southeasterly in southern Dalmatia in the morning. Morning lows of 6 to 11 degrees Celsius inland, 11 to 15 on the Adriatic, will give way to highs of 15 to 20 degrees, slightly cooler in Gorski Kotar. The three-day forecast for the interior calls for unstable and colder weather with rain, especially in the Dalmatian hinterland. The coast will also see variable and colder weather. Expect strong winds by midweek. And that wraps up the news. Be sure to join us again tomorrow night.